Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex here with TFL Bike, and next to me, Case. And we've got some pretty exciting news for you today, but it's also a little bit of a tease. We've got some new information on the Husqvarna Svartpilen 801, and uh, I say a little bit of a tease because we don't have the full details yet, but that's coming pretty soon. Yeah, on March 19th, we're going to have the full reveal of this motorcycle and all of its specs. But Husqvarna has already told us some of the key information we need to be able to tell you a lot more about this bike because, like a lot of Husqvarna products, this is based on a KTM, specifically the KTM 790 Duke. Yeah, so the 790 Duke's been around. Um, they, you know, moved up to the 890 Duke. There's a bunch of Duke models to choose from now. The 790 is kind of the more affordable Duke now in their lineup. Um, but yeah, now you've got this new Husqvarna flavor. Like Kay said, they're sister brands, and this happens all the time where they, you know, kind of take the same platform, change the looks of it a little, change who their target buyer might be, uh, and make a new model. So uh, whereas the 790 Duke is, you know, pretty much a naked street bike, this... Yeah is very much the same, but they are advertising it on some dirt, on some snow with some studded tires. It looks like it's got more of an aggressive dirt tire on it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, a little different than the KTM. Yeah, and the style is very different from the KTM, and we'll talk about the style a little bit later, but first we wanna start off with the specs that we know. So we're looking at a bike that's going to make, and this comes directly from Husqvarna, confirmed 105 horsepower. And like the 790 Duke, it's going to come out of a 799cc parallel twin, about 64 pound-feet of torque. Now, this is not the same LC8C parallel twin that you're going to find in the Norden 901. That's a bigger displacement engine, but it's all on the same platform as that 790 Duke. Yeah, so that 790 Duke has been proven to be a really fun motorcycle for a lot of people. Again, not quite the, the newer, bigger displacement, like, um, you know, 890 Duke engine that you see. Um, but yeah, it should be something that's been around. And again, the the whole point of this is to keep costs down. So that's why they're kind of keeping some of the lower Duke models, even though they're, you know, expanding into bigger displacement engines. Uh, so I think that's that's really cool that we're getting this fart pill in 801, uh, even though it's you know, a lot later than the the Duke 790 that we saw yeah. came out. You do get a lot of rider aids, or at least a few. So they say, uh, I believe they said a state-of-the-art technology package. We don't know yeah. exactly what Pretty that big. all entails yet, but um, we do know that it will have what's called easy shift, basically a quick shifter, we can assume. We'll, we'll have to wait and see what else is going to come to this bike. I'd imagine it's going to have a lot of the same technology as that 790 Duke. But again, yeah. there could be some differences, and we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, and kind of like the Duke, we're looking at uh, WP Apex suspension and 300 millimeter front discs, except the, the brakes will be branded as Husqvarna brakes instead of branded as KTM. And this bike is going to weigh in right around almost exactly 400 pounds. So it is going to be a little bit heavier than the Duke, and that's just going to come down to the specific bodywork and everything that this bike is situated with. So a little bit heavier but what's really interesting with this new version of the Svartpilen is that it's going to be the first one of these Svartpilen bikes that's not going to be a thumper because the old 701 and the current 401, both of those were thumpers. And this obviously moving into a parallel twin, which is a very different engine configuration, but it's also going to come with a lot more power because the old 701 was around 75 horsepower. We're looking at a huge bump from 75 to 105 with this 801 compared to that old 701. Yeah, and I, I think it makes sense for them to move from a single cylinder into a parallel twin. It, it's no secret. Parallel twins are kind of where it's at right now in the motorcycle industry, um, and especially in a class like this, kind of your mid-range, you know, naked sport bike sort of deal. Um, it's just they're... Parallel Twins are dominating that segment. So, yeah, it makes a lot of sense that they'd go to this. Um, I, I had a KTM Thumper for a while. <clears throat> I loved it, but I definitely prefer a Parallel Twin on the street, which is where this is going to live most of the time. Yeah, and I think there's maybe some people out there that feel like the Thumper is kind of part of the experience of a Svartpilum, but at the same time, uh, like yourself, I'm going to be happy to see a Parallel Twin in this bike. Um, and talking about styling on this motorcycle, a lot of it is kind of what we've come to expect 
from Husqvarna on their street bikes. It's all pretty familiar looking design language. Great looks. If it were me personally between this and the Duke, I would lean toward this, even though it is a little bit heavier. This styling just suits my personal preference more. I don't know about you. I agree with you on the styling. And uh, one thing I really like with the styling is this is very recognizable as a spark pillin, especially when you look at kind of the, the area that the tank comes forward to the headlight. It's got this really like flat edge on both sides, yeah. which the old bike um, definitely had, and that, that was the easiest way for me to recognize yeah. one of those. Big round headlight, too. Yep, exactly. Um, I like the short, stubby tail section they've got on it, and I want to talk about the livery they're showing off right now because <laughs> yeah. it's a little a little interesting. Yeah, this is a prototype bike, so we're not expecting this to be the actual production finish that you're going to see this motorcycle in when you walk into a dealership or when you go online and spec one of them out but it would be cool if it was. Yeah, I've seen a lot of comments. I, I was looking around on Instagram and stuff, just kind of getting feelers for how people are reacting to this before it was fully unveiled. And I saw a lot of comments asking Husky to not change <laughs> any of the graphics, not change any of the colors and just ship it like this. I don't know that we're gonna see that. Um, I know a lot of the old older Spartpillin models were like all murdered out and blacked out. And yeah. Husqvarna has that like lime green high viz accent they like putting on everything. So I think there's a good chance we'll see some of that. Um, but man, it would be cool if they they left yeah. this kind of camouflage almost, livery. It's almost it. got a little bit of a, a winter test livery kind of look to yeah. it. The black and white uh, is, is pretty sweet. So yeah, we are not expecting to see that actually on the production bike. It seems to be more of a prototype thing, but it's cool regardless. They'd make my day if they left it in there. Yeah. So. I also want to say a quick thanks to our partners over at Rider Justice. Scott and the team there have been supporting our channel basically since day one. So if you're ever in an accident anywhere in the country, whether it's on a motorcycle or in a car, make sure you call Scott first. This prototype does bring up as many questions as answers. Obviously, there's a lot of specs on this specific bike that we don't have. But it also brings up the question, are we going to see the KTM 890 Duke engine make it into one of these Husqvarna Svar pillins at some point? And what's gonna go on with the VIT pillin? Are we going to see this same platform adapt to that bike as well? So a lot of questions that are still unanswered, things that we're gonna have to just wait and see what happens. But March 19th, like we said, coming up very soon, we're at least going to have all the specs on this particular bike. Yeah, and I'm really excited to see it all unfold, not only for this bike too, but for everything else coming down the pipeline. Um, it's that time of year, riding season is right around the corner, and actually it's like a beautiful day, or at least it was yesterday to ride yeah. here. Um, but, you know, tons of bikes coming out. We have some first rides coming up, some full reviews on some brand new motorcycles in the coming weeks, so make sure you stay tuned to alltfl.com so you don't miss any of that, and hopefully we'll get our butts in the seat of this soon.